Hello everyone, uh, this video is about my newly acquired Wild Beta, which is an un, uh, unclassified beta at this point, or Wild Beta. I actually have a pair here, female and the male here. Uh, he, where did he go? He went hiding. Um, as I said, these guys have, been uh, have not been classified yet. They were newly discovered or uh, brought to the market about a year ago and I was able to get my hands on a couple of pairs of these guys about um, this male that is hiding in here I got him sorry for the glare I got him about two three months ago this female I got her about a month ago and uh, and I'm sorry for the tank it's just not the best looking tank but one of the things I've noticed with these guys they are they just macrostomas. They are just like macrostomas. They're very sensitive to the light, meaning that whenever I have direct light on top of them, they tend to uh, get uh, some sort of uh, external parasites. Here he is coming out. Okay. So what I what I did was I put it all the way here in the bottom of the rack, and I'm trying to see if I could spawn them. These guys are very, very, very aggressive. As you can see, he's chasing the female. So I'm trying to keep an eye on them to see how the aggression go. Uh, this is day two of them being together. I'll probably provide her with, with more hiding space uh, because this is the most I've seen of him being aggressive actually since uh, I put them together. Uh, yesterday, but they each, you know, they went at it. They each went after each other. And uh, I was I was like, wow, if this is what's, how's, how it's going to be. These guys are these guys are going to kill each other. Uh, but uh, they were able to settle down. I think for the most part, the whole day, when I turned on the light, they were pretty cool. Uh, about an hour ago, they were pretty cool. But he just started chasing her. My thing is, he probably sees me now, and he is used to me feeding him because it. As soon as I get to the tank, he comes out. You know, he's hungry. So that's my maybe what I think is happening. He sees me and he think, and he's hungry and he just wants to be assertive, um, you know, just uh, making sure that he's the only one that eats. Um, but as I was saying, these guys are very, very aggressive. Um, my understanding is that as far as I know, only one person in the United States have been able to successfully breed these guys. Um, I bred uh, wild betas uh, uh, that, are, that are aggressive before, like uh, Palafina Montoy. I was successful with those guys, and what I did was I put them in a 10-gallon tank with a divider. I put these guys in a 5-gallon since they are a little smaller, and just to just see how it goes. If I see that by day two or three. Uh, he continues to be aggressive and just pounding her then I'm gonna go ahead and remove her but for now I'm gonna just leave it as is like I said earlier he seemed uh, to be fine there he goes into hiding but it was more of a I think he saw me and he was expecting food and he was just being territorial uh, I'll also provide her like I said with more hiding spaces and stuff like that um, as far as the care for these guys in my experience and from what I was told the pH and uh, the water condition in which they were found was very similar to the macrostomas now they were not found in the same vicinity but as far as the pH the water temperature and stuff like that was pretty much the same so what I did was I uh, provided them here in this tank well here he is being aggressive again definitely gonna keep an eye on him uh, this is just getting a little bit of it out of hand um, what I'm gonna do is, I am. Um, uh, I'm sorry. I was talking about the the water condition and stuff like that. Uh, as I said, uh, my understanding is that these guys require the same water condition as macrostomas. Um, and this tank is about 80% um, RO water and 20% uh, top water. So I'm gonna see how it goes. I think, like I said, he's just, I, I have, this is the first time I've seen him like this. Uh, it, it, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. If it continues like this throughout the, 
the next hour or so I'm definitely gonna remove remove her um, you know I wouldn't want her to get hurt or you know get her sick to the point that she's gonna die um, I'm sorry I know that for mo you know some of you they, this could be a little disturbing but sometimes that's how nature is so uh, like I said I'm just gonna keep an eye on it if it continues I'm definitely gonna remove her um, I mean if, if, if you ever bred a uh, regular betas you know the beating is much much or the aggression the male towards the females is it's more than this so he went back into hiding into his little space uh, see how we let's see what happens but no just wanted to make this video let you know what I'm doing here or uh, let you know about my next project uh, about this beta candy um, that had not been uh, identified yet uh, just wanted to bring it to you just to let you know uh, what you know what these guys are all about and uh, this is not the best picture of it yeah he's hungry he these guys are like pigs they want to eat everything under the sun and I think that's what it is he's just he sees me and he he wants to eat and he's just being territorial I hope at least that's what it is so uh, hopefully they get to spawn in the next couple of days and I you know make a video then you know what happens but this is it just uh, also oh you know what I'm gonna show you another pair that I have 